There's quite a few operating systems that come to mind when we talk of Android, but one that stood out over the years is ColorOS by Oppo. And this year with ColorOS 14, things are no different with incremental updates as well as visual updates all tying in together for Oppo's 2024 lineup. But what are these changes? Well, number one, you're going to start off with the visuals. It's not very different from ColorOS 13, which is a good thing because those people who are accustomed to the software will not find it really hard to get used to. Although there are subtle changes and what Oppo likes to call aquamorphic theming. Now, what exactly is aquamorphic theming. Well, it starts off with sound, with ringtones now having a more mellow tune. So the traditional Oppo ringtone sounds something like this. But with aquamorphic theming, you're gonna get a ringtone that sounds something like this. The difference, in my opinion, is subtle, but that subtle does make a difference, and that's exactly what Aquamorphics does when it comes to visuals as well. With contextual sort of pictures dictating the theme of your smartphone, this isn't as visible or as noticeable as the sounds that I just showcased, but it is there. And last but not least, there's something called Aqua Dynamics, which is another feature that's quite useful to track what's going on on your smartphone. So if you've got things running in the background, like your stopwatch, or maybe you've got a hotspot on on your smartphone, you can now track these directly from wherever you are, either from your notification bar or from the pill-shaped notification icon that you'll get on the top of your smartphone. That aside, there's one extra feature that's really convincing for me, which is the always on display wallpaper. Now, this thing I never use on a smartphone regularly, but it's just unique enough to stand out on the Oppo's ColorOS 14 lineup, which is that it's got eco-friendly mode. Uh, so this basically dictates how much of a carbon footprint you're leaving and also gives you some nice little animations on screen with the always on display showing you your most important notifications. And that's the reason why I have it on. There's three sets of five different animations out there for you to choose. And I think it's a good touch. But sensory features and updates aside, what are the core features of ColorOS 14, which are really gonna drive productivity in 2024 on Oppo smartphones? I know you're waiting for it, and the first one is Smart Touch. Smart Touch is essentially a add-on to your screenshot feature where you can extract things from whatever you take pictures of. And this extraction works great because it can dynamically select text and images within the screenshot, and then you can easily drag those elements into something called file dock. And think of file dock like your clipboard that's always available. You can fill it up with text, you can fill it up with images, and what's really cool is that you can drag these things from your file dock into whatever app you wanna bring those back into, which is great because let's say you wanna crop, let's say a multi multiple frame or multiple subject uh, frame out of a picture, you can do that too using ColorOS 14, which is one of the first softwares ever to be able to do this with multiple subjects. And it's really cool because you can literally select whatever you're selecting, drag it back into file doc, and then process it on any other social media app that you want to share it on. There's other smart features like RAM and storage management and the monitoring of charging, although this is all dependent on the type of smartphone you're using. What's not though are your privacy features, where one really stands out which is called Auto Pixelate. Here the smartphone automatically identifies what to pixelate in a screenshot to keep all your sensitive information to yourself. So that's ColorOS 14 in a nutshell. It's the first step from Oppo before it reveals all of its flagship smartphones for 2024, which I'm really excited about. As far as ColorOS 14 goes, my favorite feature has to be file dock because of how productive you can be while dragging and dropping things into the file dock and then back to your favorite applications. But let me know which one is your favorite down in the comments. Thanks for watching. This was Vabhav and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.